Mad scientists like Dr. Frankenstein or Dr. Jekyll or Doc Brown aren't only in fiction. There are some real mad scientists out there. <laughs> Happy Halloween time, everyone. Trace here for D News. Mad science is out there. It happens. We're not proud of it, but we also don't really hide it either. Science has definitely let its freak flag fly on more than a handful of occasions. Back in the year 1800, Italian physicist Alessandro Volta created the very first modern day battery. Electrical batteries had been around since 250 BC in some way and had not occasionally been used in biology experiments. Luigi Galvani famously used electricity to stimulate a frog's leg, but his nephew, Giovanni Aldini, took it even further. Aldini used galvanism, or electrocution, to get bodies to move. The difference being it wasn't frogs, but cows and horses and sheep and dogs and humans. Aldini procured bodies of deceased criminals from penitentiaries across Europe and then hooked them up to Volta batteries, experimenting with reanimation. Aldini's experiments were a success in that he did manage to get the bodies to open their eyes and move their jaws and flail their arms and legs. We know they weren't alive. But when he performed experiments in front of audiences and others, they didn't know. The Italians weren't the only one playing with reanimation. Russians took it one step further. Sergei Brukhonenko ignored electricity. Instead, he focused on blood. This Soviet-era mad scientist created a series of experiments in the revival of organisms. Brukhonenko claimed to be able to remove the head of a dog and using a heart-lung machine, keep it alive. There's video. Though it's probably a fake recreation of what really happened, the experiment was a wild success and was proven before other scientists and visiting journalists in the 1940s. Now, 70 years later, modern scientists are skeptical. Brukhonenko also explored removing the organs from animals and keeping them alive on their own. Today, our mad scientists are a little more ethical, usually. Craig Venter experiments on bacteria and viruses and also has done some crazy crap using mad science. Venter used a computer and some chemicals to create a new strain of bacteria. His claim is the bacteria's parent was a computer. Digital life. Now he's working on a 3D printer for drugs and actual living things. Just like a regular 3D printer, it can download digital files and then create them in real space. He envisions a kind of synthetic biology where a scientist can create bacteria from scratch using a computer program and then produce it in a digital biological converter. It's like a microscopic Frankenstein. He also sees the benefits in this in other areas of science. What if Curiosity could scan something on Mars and then send it to us? Then we could use the converter to print a copy here on Earth to study. Not crazy enough? Venter looks at DNA as software. Software that we humans can rewrite and put on any cellular hardware to make it do whatever we want. Sound familiar? Like every god complex sci-fi villain ever? How does mad science make you feel? We learned things from all of these experiments, but was the knowledge worth the cost? Tell us your feelings, have a happy Halloween, and subscribe for more D News.